Hello and welcome back to Apt for You. In this particular video, we are going to discuss a new problem from Heaps. And basically, I don't want to disclose the data structure that we are going to use for this problem. First of all, let us understand what the problem we are going to discuss. What the problem is. So basically, the problem that we are going to discuss is about kth largest sum. Now, what does that mean? Basically, you are provided with an array ARR, and there are some elements in the array like 20 minus 5 minus 1 so this gives an intuition that the elements of the array can be positive as well as negative both type of numbers are available in the array now you have to find out the maximum sum of a sub array right and what is the size of the sub array that is not given okay maximum sum of a sub array is needed to, to be found and you know that the size of sub array is not specific array is not specific which means that the size of sub array can start with one to entire length of the array for example you have a sub array 20 minus 5 minus 1 so suppose this is the array now you can take only 20 right or you can take 20 comma minus 5 or what you can take 20 comma minus 5 comma minus 1 right next thing another sub array you can take only minus 5 or you can take minus 5 with minus 1 right and uh, finally what you can take only minus 1 so you see finally we have successfully created all the possible sub arrays now given these possible sub arrays right now these are the contiguous sub arrays okay the sub array should be contiguous remember this should not be sub sequences in there should be contiguous sub arrays you cannot skip elements in between contiguous sub arrays right so this is the array that is given 20 minus 5 minus 1 all the possible contiguous sub arrays are as follows right these these uh, basically six sub arrays either 20 or 20 with minus 5 20 minus 5 minus 1 or minus 5 or minus 5 with minus 1 or minus 1 now you have to find the sum of each sub array so sum of this array is 20 sum of this array is 15 sum of this sub array is 14 sum of this sub array is minus 5 sum of this sub array is minus 6 sum of this sub array is minus 1 and you have to find out the kth largest kth largest sum for example if i give the value of k is equal to 3 so you have to find out the third largest sum of the sub array now what is the third largest sum of the sub array so basically the third largest will be 14 so 14 should be the answer i hope you got the intuition right so we should pro we will proceed basically gradually the very first thing that we should do is we should be able to find out the all the possible sums that are existing and then we will try to find out the it's possible uh, the third part, third largest sum right but before that we should be able to generate these sums how to generate these sums basically it is a trick of nested loops let us do that so first of all kth largest sum right so let me declare a variable i and another variable j right so what will i do is basically for i'll first of all say for i equal to zero i less than the size of the array is n but i'll be moving till n minus one okay I'll say you why. I plus plus. Finally, J will be moving. Okay, sorry. Finally, J will be moving from I plus 1 and J less than again N J plus plus. Right? Okay. Now, before proceeding, we should uh, basically what we should do is basically we, would, we will be requiring a mean heap for this particular purpose. Okay, we will be using that mean heap afterwards. But right now, we are trying to generate the sum. Now there should be an array to store this sum, right? There should be an array to store all these possible sums. So I'll be declaring an array, basically vector array. So vector int, right? Vector int and let us suppose x. So I'm declaring an a vector array x, which will be basically holding my sums, all possible sums. So so suppose I will be equal to zero to n minus one. I'll be moving. So let me just rub this entire thing. So I hope you got the idea about what the problem actually says. Now you can understand the working. So the working is as follows. We have an element like 20 minus 5 minus 1, right? These are the elements in the array. Now basically I will, now these are the index 0, 1 and 2. I will start from here and I will move till here, this position. Why? Because I have said less than n minus 1. So less than 2. Less than 2 means still 1. Fine. So I will start from here, move till here, and J will basically begin from I plus one and J less than N J plus plus. So finding out the sum is very simple. All the possible contiguous sub arrays. Now you see, the moment I will be I will be at location zero, this element again can be a sub array, right? This element itself, I this twenty can it's alone be a sub array. So I will be basically pushing here, x dot push back, 
array of i right because the each individual element is also an sub array pushed and basically i will declare a variable s which will be basically initialized to array of i right because i want the sum now contiguous sums so i am also using a variable s here so s is equal to 0 fine so basically right now what is happening you see this is my vector x so first of all i pushed up now i is pointing to this particular location right so my i is pointing to this index so basically i pushed up this 20 into the sub array now s is equal to basically 20 right now because s is equal to array of i now j equal to i plus 1 so which basically means j will start from this position and j will move till this position what we will do s plus equal to array of j so see what will happen basically s is right now 20 so 20 plus again j is starting from this position this j, j is here 20 minus 5 is 50, 15 right so that 15 should be pushed into the sub array that is a that is a sum so again x dot push back what the sum that is s right so basically 20 20 so s is equal to 20 again s plus equal to array of j means 20 minus 5 will give you 15 updated push 15 into the sub array now 15 again j will come here increment right because this is j's loop is going to less than n again whatever is the sum add this minus 1 so 14 so see the, all the contiguous subs, sums are here 20 or 20 with minus 5 this is the sum 20 minus 5 minus 1 this is the sum the three sums you have received successfully now a loop comes here now i will basically point to which location i will now point to index 1 so i will now point to this index okay and then we will push back now this line will be executed we will push back this minus 5 into the array so minus 5 will be pushed back into the array so yeah this will be pushed back by this particular line line so minus 5 will be pushed back into this vector x okay now j will start from i plus 1 so i is here j will start from this location and j will go till this location only and we know that by this line s will be equal to array of i so s will be equal to basically array of i what is i array of i is basically minus 5 done so now we, this particular loop will find the sum of this minus 5 with array of j so minus 5 minus 1 is how much minus 6 so we got the this one we pushed into the array now we are going to push this one this entire sum minus 6 fine so you see we have pushed this also into the array now what happens basically is that now my i is successfully here right so basically we should do one more thing what let me write it so So see, we basically have pushed the elements 20, min 20 comma minus 15 sum, 20 minus 5, minus 1, this one, then minus 5 we pushed up, minus 5 with minus 1 we pushed up, and now basically my i will be less than n minus 1, means i less than n is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So i basically will move to this index only, right? And so basically after this is completed, now you see this element is left over, right? Last element will be left over. So I don't want that, I should push this also, right? So I'll basically push this element also after this loop ends. So x dot push back, right? Array of n minus 1. The last element also I will be pushing here into the vector. Now basically you have all the elements of the, all the possible sum, sum of the sub arrays. All the possible sum are here. You can see 20 with only this. If you take these two, then 15. If you take these three, 14 or if you take only minus 5 then here or if you take minus 5 with minus 1 here or if you take only minus 1 here so all the possible sums are here now what should we do basically now it's time to use our heap because we want the kth largest sum for that particular reason i will be basically creating a min heap so i'll be declaring a min heap first so priority q u e u e q integer comma vector integer comma this is the syntax for declaring the min heap greater int and finally i am naming it as a heap okay so this is my vector uh, priority heap now what should i do is once you have successfully find found all the sums and stored in the vector x all the sums are basically stored in the vector x now i will be creating a heap and i will be saying while the heap size basically that is heap dot size is less than k because I want I want to find the kth largest element so my heap size should be k only getting the point since I want to find the kth largest sum my heap size should be equal to less than less than k only so uh, equal to k only since I want to find the kth largest sum my 
hip size should be equal to k so until and unless my size is k what should i do i should basically start pushing elements right so before that you should run a for loop again so for i equal to 0 i less than what x dot size because it's time to push the sums and sums are stored in the vector x so basically i'll be traversing vector x and i'll be doing i plus plus right fine and you'll be just getting inside and you'll say you'll be saying basically while hip size is basically let me make it nested for simplification yeah so while the hip size is less than k what should we do basically now as long as hip size is less than k now it's our job to basically push that element into the hip so hip dot push what x of i fine now as long as soon as the size exceeds k as soon as the hip size becomes equal to k now you no longer can put more elements in k it's time to delete some elements so which elements are we going to delete so if basically yeah this will not be while okay this will basically be hip if so as long as hip size is less than k you just go on doing this but if you find that the hip size has become full then you will be just entering the else part and now you will say if the uh, topmost element of the heap is very small basically you don't want that right because that cannot be sum cannot be the sum if heap dot top is basically less than right if heap dot top is basically uh, less than the element of x of i which means that you can replace that element of the heap right you can just say that heap dot pop remove the topmost element and push the current element into the heap push x of i into the heap what the point push x of i into the heap and finally at the end we are going to return what return x not return x sorry return heap dot top now how is it working let me show you so i hope you understood that this is how is it working fine so what will happen after you got the sum i will be starting from here so i am basically trying to create a heap okay as less than x dot size i will be traversing all and i'll be creating a heap so first of all my heap will become this is now main heap okay i'm creating a main heap remember main heap so mean if first element that will be inserted will be equal to 20 done next time 15 will be inserted done next time 14 will be inserted done now if you're trying to insert minus 5 there is no more space here because the size of the heap is equal to k and k here is equal to 3 so what will you do you'll check that if head dot top is less than x of i is this less than of x, x of i no then do nothing move up move ahead is this less than uh, the top of this one no move ahead is this less than the top of this one no move ahead and terminate now what we'll do we know that these are the top three uh, the largest sums are here the largest three sums are here and basically if you want to find out the um, now sorry this is a mean heap right so sorry for that since this is a mean heap so you know the sum will be like 14 15 and 20 because the smallest element will be on the top you created using this three you created a mean heap now the moment you start coming coming here the minus five will be compared with this as per the syntax as per the syntax because now size has exceeded three so if head dot top that is 15 uh, 14 is less than uh, minus 5 then we will replace it but this is not less than this is greater than means we want greater than so it will be here only no problem go here is minus 6 less than this uh, is minus 6 greater than this no skip is minus 1 greater than this no and since we reach the end basically we will terminate now basically we know that our heap contains the top three largest sums and the, among that the third the kth is smallest sum Kth smallest sum that is the third largest sum is in the head you see you have 14 15 20 and the third largest is in the head because i created a mean heap right so basically we are returning head dot top now if you just compile this code i hope there is no syntax errors because we might be missing some variables and declarations in the worst case so assuming everything is fine okay see we just encountered an error what is the error so the error is basically what is the issue okay let me see okay fine let me just uh, rectify it all right this will be hip dot push anything else Again, they are showing some error. Let me see what is the error. Okay. 
all right i just found out this error this should basically there should be a space between these two angle brackets right now this is a syntax right because this is nested right within this angle bracket we are using this and there should be a space between these two only then that this will be considered a valid argument so now let us compile this so yeah we can see the output here is basically 14 and we know that as per our working that we saw the third largest sum of this 20 minus 5 and minus 1 the third largest sum will be nothing but 14 only and we got 14 as the answer so i hope this video was helpful now if you consider the time complexity of this particular process now basically we can see there we are using nested loops right so this will basically be taking order n squared in this particular part like uh, this particular part here you see this and this we are inside this right so n square we are taking definitely for pushing the elements right and the size of the the size of this vector x is what what is the size of the vector x so basically that is of order n square right because you see if you have 20 minus 5 minus 1 element what you will be having the first for, for the first element we will have uh, we will be taking three sub right one two and three for the second element from second element onwards we will be taking two from third element we will be taking one and this is nothing but the sum of n, ele n elements so n into n plus one by two which is of order n square so size of this vector x is nothing but of order n square and we know for each vector x basically we are doing a heap operation right what is what, what are we doing in the heap operation we are pushing elements or either we are popping elements and we know that push or pop will basically take log n and how many times we are doing it throughout the enter throughout the vector x so basically n square log n is our time complexity for this particular problems right and the space complexity obviously we are using a heap and and also a vector x right so extra space that we are using here as per this particular problem is the vector x right and the space uh, size obviously is equal to same order n square order n square at the most that's the space complexity considering the time complexity definitely we are using order n square log n right so this was one of the approach to solve this particular problem using heaps i hope this video was helpful in case of any doubt please feel free to put it out in the comment section just like share and subscribe thank you